have you been? Shut the door. He's been trying to get hold of you. I know. You tell me you've spent all afternoon in the bath. No. No, I'm all right. Actually, I had a couple of the bistro. Take earlier. it. You need it. Okay. Now you're worrying me. I've done something really stupid. Oh, don't tell me you've booked to go to LA again. No, that would be impetuous. This is stupid. I mean, this is really stupid with a capital S. It's more than that. It's... Okay. Just tell me. I've just slept with Robert. Tracy's fellow? Yeah. Ask your wine, please, shall No. Nope. Hey. Have you spoken to Nick yet? Well, it gives a chance. I've just knocked off. I text him, he said he's still busy. Mm. So that's it then, is it? Well, what do you want me to do? Go and kidnap him, drive him down the docks and gaffer tape him up? If you like, yeah, but you can't drive with a drink inside you, can you? You know you run a pub. You're a really bad businesswoman. Maybe, but I'm a pretty loyal mate. Listen, I know you miss Steve, but you have to go to bed sometime. <laughs> you are kidding me. I mean, I do miss him and, uh you know. Oh, but I do not miss his snoring. Oh, the joy. Mm. Well, you've got all that to look forward to, haven't you? And pretty soon, from what I hear, Tracy Barlow told me that I shouldn't expect any business from my cheapskate mate because she's getting married at the bistro in the... Uh, yeah, I am sorry. <laughs> I don't care about the stupid business. But what happened to putting it off for a bit, taking things slowly. I know, I know, and, you know, I, I did, I tried. So what changed your mind? And please don't tell me you've been drinking. Nick, changed my mind, OK? Because Nick loves me. I mean, he really loves me. I don't just think that, I know it because I feel it, and... So why would I want to throw all that away and lose him? I tell you why, because that's what I do. I, I screw up, and then I wallow in the fact that I've screwed up. Okay, so. So I'm gonna marry him because I love him too, and I want to make him happy. We can be happy, you know. Yes, you can. You can. And we both know that Nick's gonna do everything he can to make that happen. So I reckon it's gonna depend on you in the end, don't you? So, how do you fancy an espresso martini? No, not really, no. Look, he's just become Nick's partner. He's not going to rock the boat now, is he? Actually, I prefer my vodka with a little bit of fruit in. Kid myself on being healthy. Mm. Carla? Carla? Has anyone phoned an ambulance? Yeah, I did. How that happened? She was fighting over a bag with two blocks and a pickup truck down there, and then suddenly they just set off with her half in, half out. What time is it? 25 past two. Nick, I'm gonna have to go. Left Liz on her own. I said it won't be long. It's all right, you don't have to explain. There's nothing more you can do here, anyway. I need to tell him. No. Well, why not? I mean, he's going to find out anyway now, isn't he? Johnny's a liability. He could do anything. You heard him. He's not going to say how. He wants you to be happy. Mm, you think? He's never troubled him before. He's he's impulsive and he's hot-headed. You know, he always has been. Mm, you'd never guess you were related, would you? Look, he also knows what's at stake. So did I when I slept with Robert. Oh, will you stop it? Look, you have got... An amazing wedding and a wonderful future to look forward to. Just keep your eyes focused on that. Oh, what happened? Last thing I remember was watching Countdown. Well, I've made a shepherd's pie. When you say made. Yes, I bought the ingredients and prepared them and then I assembled them in this lovely dish and then put it into the oven. It's called cooking. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> wow. 
humankind can do all that, yet they can't put a man on the moon. Well, we have put a man on the moon, so no, that's what they want you to think. Oh, I'm starving, actually. Smells gorgeous. Hello? It's Johnny. Oh. Come up. <laughs> 